Oh, what's up guys, it's me again, today I'm doing a off topic stuff episode 16. <sighs> yeah, just fancy doing one today. And guys, just let you know, if it's just came out recently, yesterday, and I haven't watched it yet, but I will watch it at some point. It's more fun, I'd rather watch at home. Yeah, hey guys, just let you know that I have. If you've noticed on my channel, I've deleted my Mega Man vs. Doom Syndicate and Mega Man Rules review. I deleted my Mega Man vs. Doom Syndicate review and a Mega Man Rules review, which I deleted both of those videos because I thought they were pointless and there was, there was no point. There was no point in reviewing it to begin with. So yeah, if you watch my first Mega Man movie review then you'll be like oh what the heck why why is he how come he's not reviewed on it yet then if you then if you watch this video then you'll understand why so yeah i'm not doing a review on them because pointless but i will keep my review on mega mind on so cause, yeah okay i'm watching guys garfield and friends yeah this movie is a classic i'm so dead hyped for the New one coming out. Hmm. Oh yeah, Garfield hits that clown. Yeah. And guys, just let you know. Recent, recently, we've been getting. Um, tomorrow, Lombrock Strikes Back is gonna uh, did a premiere, and there's gonna be a rant on Lombrock Strikes Back. And he did a run or Lambrock Jack's back did a run on Star vs. Forces Evil Finale Cleave, which I have heard a lot of people here in that episode. They thought it was one of the worst finales ever. Lambrock Jack's back despised it, Burning Pageant. At first he thought it was was good. He didn't mind the ending, but then then he started having mixed feelings by it saying it was underwhelming and then started hating the show. Hate the finale, which he doesn't hate Star vs. Forces Evil, he just doesn't like the finale. And yeah, which honestly, yeah, I've never watched that episode, guys. I have watched Star Wars Force Evil, which is re it's a very good show. I like it. I will re watch all the episodes soon. But then I if I watch the episode, final episode, Cleave, then maybe I will agree with Blam Brush Race back and other people. We don't know. But I will watch his rant and see why he hates it. But yeah. And he has done a rant on episodes before. Like He did a rant on the South Park episode, Return of the Chef, Season 10, Episode 1, Return of the Chef. Which, honestly, I hate that episode for. Yeah, my opinion on that episode is bogus. Yeah, I hate that episode. The South Park Return of Chef episode. Yeah, I despise that episode with burning passion. Oh, look. Advertisement for F. Hm. Ryan Reynolds. Steve Carroll as well, which they're both great actors. Ryan Reynolds is my favorite movie of all time, which I will review at some point. Anyway, um... Um, Chef. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I used to like the, uh, the South Park episode Returning Chef. Yeah, I used to like that episode. But then after I rewatched it ages ago, I actually agreed with Lambrock Strikes Back and started hearing the episode. Honestly, that's the only bad episode in South Park. I love South Park. I love all the episodes. But Return of the Chef is the only bad episode. Which, Chef, R.I.P. 1997 to 2006. Which, two years later... Isaac Hayes, the actor who played as Chef, passed away in 2008, which was very sad, which he left South Park in 2006 and then passed away two years later, which was sad, which R.I.P. Isaac Hayes, yeah. I still love South Park, but I do miss Chef. Like, a lot of characters got killed off, like, as you've seen in my last act topics of episode, it was revealed that Larry got killed off in The Simpsons, and yeah, which I don't like characters getting killed off, even, like, Characters that get loads and loads of screen time, like Mayor West from Family Guy got killed off back in 2017 because the actor Adam West passed away, which was sad. Which he played in Batman, the 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 TV show, which that show's a classic. I love that show, and he played as Ace in Chicken Little at the end of Chicken Little. Yeah, and Edna from The Simpsons, Mrs. Krabappel, Edna Krabappel from The Simpsons, the actor who played as Marcy Wallace, yeah, she passed away back. 11 years ago, when 
the guy who played as uh, John Sanders in American Dad, he left the show, and John Sanders got killed off off screen. And yeah, South Park Chef, I just mentioned. Yeah, Rick and Morty, no characters like. Yeah, in season two, Tammy killed off one of the. Oh, season three, uh, I think it's either season two or season three. Tammy killed off one of the, the car, one of the fit, one of the best characters, which I've got the name, but of that character. But yeah, Tammy from from Rick and Morty, not Tammy from Bob's Burgers. Tammy from Rick and Morty. Honestly, yeah, I hate that character. I agree with Lamar like that. She is a mega bitch, which I'm glad she got killed off in season four. I'm so glad she's never came back since. Anyway, other characters got killed off. In Futurama, uh, not a great character got killed off. Lars, he got killed off, despite he was only in one thing. Yeah. Bob's Burgers, not a favourite character killed off, but there are some characters that are not in anymore. Ron and Hugo should come back. And yeah, that's all I can name. Oh yeah, Loretta from Family Guys got killed off, which... The actor who played as Lost couldn't do the voice anymore, so yeah. And yeah, guys. So, yeah. That's all that. It just is how it is. Like, characters getting killed off. Yeah, it's just, it is how it is, guys. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. And there were a couple of characters in Big Mouth that got killed off, like Gavin and Dante. They got killed off in Human Resources, which rest in peace to those characters. Which Gavin, I don't know why they killed off. Bobby Cannaville, yeah, Bobby Cannaville is a great actor. I like Bobby Cannaville. He played in Sing Two, which yeah, Jimmy Crystal, yeah, I'd, I hear Jimmy Crystal with a burning passion. I do like Bo Bobby Cannaville, but I just hate Jimmy Crystal. Jimmy Crystal is the worst. But he's not the worst elimination villain. The chef from Migration, he is the worst, worst elimination villain of all time. God, field. Just pause on it, guys. Wait, hang on. Uh, just making sure. Right. Sorry, just Emily. Jeremy Ardley just um commented on one of my videos. Yeah, which Jeremy Ardley is a great YouTuber. I like Jeremy Ardley. And I just, and I told him that I don't praise anything like it's better than God. I don't take stuff to the extreme and I do handle people's opinions. I'm not like Chelsea Jack Lord, which honestly, one, he is the worst, you know my opinion, he's the worst YouTuber of all time. He's literally the childish, the childish dad of YouTube. And Kai, he's basically Caillou as well, which Caillou is the worst. I hate Caillou. I which I'm not gonna run on Caillou because I don't fancy it. I mean, I, I might, but we don't know. The go animate videos of Caillou. Yeah, I used to like those videos, but now, yeah, they can go fuck themselves. Which yeah, I used to like the Caillou go animate videos, but nowadays it's just not that funny. I don't even watch go animate anymore after Charles died. So yeah, go animate videos. The modern go animate videos. Nah, they can just go fuck themselves. Honestly. I mean the, I mean the um Ashton Craven videos are not that bad. Honestly, they're the only good ones. But yeah, and they trail it like when people do rant on stuff. Yeah, they do use like the go animate voice recorder things for their videos. It's honestly, the really the can they're honestly pointless. Right, they're honestly pointless in my opinion. Like, why would they? Just why? Why do some people do that? I'm not gonna do it for my videos. I tested it out ages ago. It's got awful, so I was like, you know what? I'm not using it. So, yeah. <sighs> Honestly, it's just, it's very pointless. Come in. I don't wait, wait. Come in. Hey, come in. Let me give you a key. Sorry, I'm just joking. I was playing around. Uh. Uh, and you've wondered when will my friends come back? Like the characters, like from Futurama and all. Like when will they come back? Well, they're not going to be an off-topic stuff for a while, but don't worry, they will come back. But if you're wondering, is Stewie 
Uh, no, I know you guys won't wonder, but Stewie Griffin said he will be in this off topic stuff episode very soon. He'll be in a very in an off topic stuff episode very soon, I meant to say, sorry. So yeah. Uh, just to let you know. I um Yeah, I think you already know this, but I'm gonna tell you again just in case. Velma is my number one worst uh my number one least favorite TV show of all time now, period. But yeah, Velma, I agree, it's the worst show of all time. I mean, my, before Velma, my worst show of all time was Mrs. Brown's Voice, which honestly, I don't, I'm not a big fan of that show. I ne- never really was to begin with, which, if you've seen my extreme rant on the movie and the show, you'll know what I mean. Which, yeah, I'm not doing a rerun on those, on both of those, because I, cause I'm going to leave it how it is. And, and my review on Bob's, my review on Bob's Burgers might come. We don't know, but yeah, which my old review does age well. But I might do a review of the show. We don't know. And speaking of Bob's Burgers, um, nine more days before the Bob's Burgers movies second anniversary, yay! Which I am gonna rewatch it on the, its second anniversary, obviously. And I'm also gonna rewatch it. Top Gun Maverick as well, which, yeah, Top Gun Maverick is a masterpiece, in my opinion, I love Top Gun Maverick, which I haven't watched that movie for a year now, so I'm going to rewatch Top Gun Maverick after the Bob's Burgers movie, which, yeah, Top Gun Maverick is my third favourite movie of 2022, second being Sonic the Hedgehog 2, of course, which, yeah, I love Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and speaking of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, you all know I've watched Knuckles, which Knuckles was a great show. I loved Knuckles very much. And guys, I'm going to show you something. It's on my laptop. Let me put this on. My fan. It's getting hot, guys. I'm going to turn it off just in case you won't hear me. I'm going to put my... Uh... Hang on, guys. Sorry about that. I tried to... I was um, saw my switch. Right? Oh, back to what I was saying. Going back on it. I'm going on this laptop. and I need... I'm going to show you guys something. A second, yeah. What's that button do? Oh, oh yeah. Lambrock Shakes Pass got migration on DVD now. Oh, awesome! And there's the video I was telling you about. It's it's gonna be coming out at five in the morning, which I'm not waking up five in the morning just to watch it. I'm gonna like that. Yeah, I'm gonna um I'm gonna watch um. Which, yeah, I'm gonna watch this video when I wake up, not at five in the morning. Cause, yeah, and m- yeah, Chowder, Steven Universe, Gravity Falls, Ghost vs. the Ghost and the Molly McGee, Adventure Time, regular show, or awesome shows in my opinion. I love them. I've never se- I've actually never seen an episode of Avatar: The Last Airbender, which I know it's shocking, but I will at some point. Which I have watched the movie, which the movie is the worst movie of 2010. Period. Hate the movie, you despise it. Breaking Bad, yeah, Breaking Bad is an awesome show. I love Breaking Bad. No, I'm gonna go to my videos. Oh yeah, that video. Whoever this YouTube is, thank you for doing that on my birthday last year. Hang on, guys. You see my rant on here, on, you see this video right here, my, oops, sorry, didn't mean to touch it, hang on a minute, oh, for God's sake, right, you see this video right here, the Barbie, my rant on the 2023 Barbie movie, yeah, honestly, that rant didn't age well, that's right, I'm officially saying this, my rant on Barbie did not age well at all, which I'm not doing a rerun on this movie because thinking about it, there are some scenes. I'll admit there are actually some scenes in the movie that were quite enjoyable. I'll admit Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling did actually do great acting in this movie, and there are actually some bits that made me laugh a bit. And yeah, but yeah, I'm still gonna keep this. Uh, yeah, I'm still gonna keep this video uploaded. But yeah, I'm still gonna keep this video uploaded on YouTube. But I just, I just yeah, I don't yeah. The rant is not, it's just, 
with bogus. Yeah, I'm not really ranting on this movie because yeah. Which I'll admit. Which yeah, uh, I will still keep this video uploaded on YouTube just for memories. For for memories, but yeah, there are some bits that actually made me laugh. So maybe I might give this movie a try one day. That's right. I mean, I mean, I hate the Barbie franchise usually. I, I despise. I did. I mean, I I mean, I usually despise it with a burning passion, but. This movie actually was actually um uh, was some bits in this movie that were actually funny. Which yeah, I'm still gonna hit the the uh, cartoons and the front and the merchandise and all and the dolls. I'm still gonna hit them with a burning passion. But the movie is a one time could be a one time exception to the uh to be that I like or would be the only good one. This so the movie might be the one and only exception. Yeah, which the which I'm still gonna hate the cartoons, the merchandise and the dolls and all. Yeah, I'm still gonna despise them with burning passion. But the movie could be a one time exception. Which I'm still gonna keep this video uploaded on YouTube for memories. But yeah, rant does not. This video did not age well. But I'm still gonna keep it uploaded on YouTube. Yeah, which let me check something in this. Right, so that's Jeremy actually. Right, this is what I was talking about. Let me not do it like that. Right, I don't. I told him that I don't press anything like it's better than God. I don't take movies to extreme. And I do handle those opinions. Yeah, he, he was just making sure. Yeah, Jeremy actually is a great YouTuber. Oh yeah, open high hand on a minute. I'm gonna search this. Oh wait, wait, wait. R.I.P. that character, by the way. Yeah. Here is Oppenheimer. Here is Oppenheimer. Which, Oppenheimer is actually a masterpiece of my... I, yeah, I actually love Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is actually one of the best movies of 2023. Which, it's not It's not my top 10 favourite movies of 2023. But it is one of my favourites. Which, yeah. Uh, which, even if I do... Even if I did start liking Barbie, I might... Even if I do start my start liking Bar the Barbie movie, I'll still think Oppenheimer is way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Barbie movie is a one time will be the only good Barbie thing, and that's it. No, I'm still gonna as I just said earlier, I'm still gonna hit the the. Uh, hang on a minute. Like I said earlier, I'm still gonna hit the. Uh, Curtains, merchandise, the merchandise and the dolls and all that. I'm still going to despise them with any passion, but the Barbie movie mm -mm. could be a one time exception. We don't know. But yeah, which I'm still going to keep the rant. The rant didn't age well, but I'm still going to keep uploading for YouTube for memories. Yeah. Yeah, here's a. Yeah, Barbie and Oppenheimer did like shoot orange, which I don't know why. I look at Simpsons did. Which Mr. Burns said he, he looked. <laughs> Nobody cares! Sorry for it, uh, raging there, guys. Which, yeah, I hate, I hate this. I hate adverts. Yeah, Mr. Burns is like not a big fan of Oppenheimer. That's right. There was a second movie people were seeing. Yes, there was a global phenomenon. Really, global, and it finally gave me the courage to do this. Yeah. So the Smithers liked Barbie, which yeah. And Mr. Burns' voices voices changed in this episode, which honestly I don't like the new voice, but we're gonna have to get used to it now because Harry Shearer is pretty old now. Which Harry Shearer is a great actor. He played in Chicken Little. He played a, a scene in Chicken in a scene in Chicken Little, which yeah. Yeah, Mark Alt Robbie is a great actor. She played in Suicide Squad. Let me watch this quick.
Right. I'm not watching videos. I'm just showing you. This is what it's like. And there's the uh, actor who played in Chang Chi the Legend of Ten Rings, which that movie, yeah, Chang Chi the Legend of Ten Rings is a great movie. I, I like that. Which I sold it. Yeah, I'm gonna get the movie on DVD at some point. I did. I was originally gonna get it back in 2021, but but um, there was some other things I wanted to get instead. So I was just um, be patient and wait another time. Which yeah. But yeah, and even if I do like start like in the Barbie movie, I might not get it on DVD. If we'll have to, we might have to wait and see. But if, even if I, if I, even if if I like starting like in the Barbie movie, maybe, I maybe I would not get it on DVD. But we'll 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 have to see and find out if I like the, if I start like in the movie. If I did, then maybe I might get, it. maybe I would get it on DVD, but probably not. But we'll have. We we'll just have to wait and see, which yeah. But I'm not saying I'm gonna like the movie. I'm not saying I'm gonna hate it. If maybe I might become neutral to it, we don't know. But if I did, I might not get them. I wouldn't get the movie on DVD, which I would. Maybe I might get the movie, or maybe not. We, we I don't know honestly. Which, yeah. We go downstairs a minute, guys. We had, we would have to wait and see. I'll still prefer her for Oppenheimer, of course. Which, yeah. Here I am, downstairs. This is fine. I was in here in one of my off topic stuff episodes. Which, yeah, hang on, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Back to our soon. So, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I know you, you usually open gates, but. Um, I prefer climbing over them. Which, yeah, hang on. Right, guys. I think I'm gonna end uh, my episode. The episode right here, guys. So yeah. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode. It was pretty good. I know it was about Oppenheimer, or Barbie, and all that, but I don't really give a crap. But there were some bits in this episode that I, I enjoyed explaining. Which yeah. And if you're wondering, yes, I've seen Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, which that movie, it was awesome. I loved it very much. It's actually in my top 10 favorite movies of 2024, which I haven't completed the list yet. The, the ones that are in my list so far are Kung Fu Panda 4, Godzilla X Con, The New Empire, and. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, those they're in my list so far. Hang on, guys. Which, yeah, they're on my list so far. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, Give a like and thumbs up. Thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I know a lot of YouTubers do that, but I haven't done that at all before. Which, I wanted to do it for the first time, because I just fancied it. Which, yeah. I'll see you in my next episode. And... Skadoosh.